Recently, there's been a lot of crackdowns with copyright stuff, manga leaks, you know, <laughs> any wave going down, and hentai going down just for a bit. And now we have manga leakers gets their personal information exposed by USA, where Japan can arrest them. Uh-oh, what's going on? To Japan's most wanted criminals, to mm. two foreigners getting arrested for manga leaks, to the two foreigners that got arrested snitching on the kingpin of manga leaks. Oh. Yesterday, Kumamoto Court held a trial of Shonen Jump leakers. Both are French. <laughs> Let's go, my based French pirates, who were charged with violation of copyright law. Prosecutors pointed out an unidentified person called DBS Hype, I guess they like Dragon Ball Super, requested them to send jump manga images in exchange for promoting their company. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. DBS Hype, right, requested them to send them jump manga images for. So this is kind of like how the leaks have been going on, right? Different distributors have physical copies and there's some personal incentives of having their own company being promoted in exchange. We give you, you know, the leaks and shit like that. Leaks DBS hype to having Netflix have a massive data breach where something like Don to Don, Rama, and multiple yeah. other series are leaked to the entire public. Now, Don to Don didn't have all of the season leaked, right? I think that episode one to six, along with the opening was leaked, but 7 to 12 I heard was gonna happen, but it never actually did, right? And then you have multiple pirate sites that have been around for a very long time going offline, like Annie Wave and stuff that has mm -hmm. affected millions of people. And then fast forwarding to a few days ago, <laughs> where Entai is facing a copyright infringement case they're obviously losing, <laughs> yeah. and they effectively had to shut down the site for a while, and they had but to reroute their database, as you could see. Now you mean that the edit is back. All right, we're back. We'll open the file of this host admin, right? Oh my god, it's getting way too fucking. This action is probably due to the legal action you're facing, which will cost them four million dollars in compensation. Jesus Christ. Here with this picture and change things around where they can remove the copyrighted material, but also change things to where they obviously don't this have to be forced offline. But it's only a, a matter of time until eventually they probably will have to shut their doors. And then you have the Internet Archive having its appeal rejected and basically saying that this is the burning of the, the Library of Alexandria. It, it, there's so much content that is about to be lost here. It's like a burning of the Library of Alexandria is an analogy is that some historical event or it's not like this is literally library of alexandria right i don't get that digital book burning and then we move over into today today's okay. news where japan has requested the united Ooh. states to send over the personal information of those that are leaking manga chapters on Ooh, so wait hold on japan is demanding the united states government's to send over the they're asking the docs their own citizens right because you know they they leaked jjk and demon slayer so now japan's like yep give me their names on twitter so let's talk about this a lot has been going on and this news story has been actively just been ridiculous for a very very long time i mean as I elsa completely off topic but uh <laughs> dr disrespect streaming comeback Bro was live with 200k plus viewers today. It happened today. Cancel culture, man. It doesn't exist. Until you actually get deep platforms, as long as you put your head down and grind and entertain the audience that likes you, you seemingly can get away with anything. I just showcased, there's just been so many leaks, so much news coverage in just this last year alone. It's ridiculous. Hmm. And as I've been talking about in multiple videos for the past few weeks, and honestly this entire year, Japan is heavily cracking down yes, on they are. piracy. Not just, let's say, anime sites, not manga. just h tai sites, but legit manga leaks and spoilers yeah. on different platforms, mainly Twitter. And I'm assuming eventually this overall attention is going to probably shift to TikTok, and it's always been kind of taking place on YouTube where they've been kind of DMCA and stuff on YouTube for a very long time. I am very, very familiar with that because this is an anime reaction channel, right? I'm sure you guys are all familiar. I'm not sure. Like most of the people watching these videos are usually my core audiences. So they're not complete new people that's unaware of like what we do here. But, you know, anime reactions, it is transformative content. A completely different experience from the original source. It's not like I am re-uploading the actual episode without any changes, right? I have completely transformed the content. So now that falls in line with fair use, which is supposed to protect you in the court of law. But in Japan, they don't really give a fuck about that. 
fair use doesn't exist. They have very draconic copyright laws. And YouTube on the other side too, it's always a shoot first, ask for forgiveness later kind of situation where the strike system can be abused so fucking easily. I mean, that's just been just happening, not even just for anime stuff, right? Not just for anime reactions. The YouTube copyright system as a whole has just been abused over and over for the past decade plus. But with this stuff, I think for sure, these kind of leaks are going to hurt their bottom line. New releases of chapters, while it may get people to talk about it, physical shops actually leaking actual images of future chapters, it, for sure it's going to lessen the sales. When you start hurting their bottom line, right? When you start hurting the companies in their wallet, they're for sure going to take action. But into the main point, basically Japan has really went full throttle this past year and a lot of different, you know, countries as well, full mm. throttle to fight back against internet piracy. And I don't want to, like, retread everything I've been saying on all these multiple other videos. Uh, basically, service issue. Everything comes back to service issue and the sites and different providers not being able to provide the demand that the audience wants, right? Some stuff for ha doesn't have licenses, other people are going to find different solutions for that. I think that this is a pretty big campaign. I don't think this is suddenly going to just change the world. Again, you cut the head of one hydra, ten more will grow. Videos, but as I always say, you can't get rid of piracy, it's going yeah. to keep coming back. But, yeah. let's talk about this story. So, basically, to, you know, give a brief summary to those that are unaware of what's really going on here and the significance of this post that came out a few hours ago, basically, thanks to the overall leaks that's been happening for a while now, for instance, like this here, like, mm. for instance, showcasing, like, all these manga leaks on Twitter, for instance, people getting the chapters early, like, almost a week early before Shonen Jump officially releases it, and posting a bunch of spoiler images and images all around. Basically, Japan doesn't like that. Manga yeah. don't like that. Mingo, the artist of Oshinoko, has actively talked about this in recent weeks, about oh. how they do not like their series being spoiled, and they have a digital release on top of that. But the point is, I thought that it's really hard to leak digital releases. I don't know exactly how everything works, but it sounds like mainly the leaks comes from physical copies being leaked at bookstores because there's inside connections and people wanting different incentives out of that. Digital releases, I guess, still can be leaked, huh? I mean, for sure. If you're a mangaka, if you're, like, really prepared to launch a chapter and all, all the hype is there, but it gets, like, leaked early, kind of kills the hype. A lot of people already read through that shit just gonna lessen the sales potentially is that japan obviously got a list together earlier this year trying to figure out what's really causing this and trying to bring these people to justice so to speak because obviously their content is being stolen now you're probably wondering what would lead people to steal this content what would what would lead them to steal their content <laughs> internet points motherfuckers are posting spoilers on twitter for free at the very least, these idiots could fucking unite and paygate the content and price gouge the audience. They could all have competitive rates that they set behind the scenes and make sure that the people that lost the leaks could have, I don't know, they pay like a $5 fucking subscription on Patreon or some shit. You know what I mean? But it's not even that. These dudes are doing it for free, right? Lead people people to posting these leaks online on twitter on tiktok etc well there's multiple reasons the easiest one clout. is clout i mean a lot of people that usually post leak images before anyone else is because they like the uh the Attention. rush of engagement and clout that's right engagement clout imaginary points on twitter you get likes retweets you know the impressions go out but at the end of the day, bro, you're not even fucking getting paid for this shit. And even if you are, it's fucking pennies on Twitter ad revenue. Like, if you're going to go for fucking clout, that, that is like the most, I don't know. Like, and you're going to say, what about you? What about, what about me? I'm making money off my shit. That's not a fucking volunteer work. I'm not doing this shit for the acknowledgement of random fucking weebs online. I'm trying to fucking pay bills watching anime. But these dudes are literally just doing it for free just to get popular on Twitter that they get. But also there is another reason. Those that obviously get access to leaks and spoilers, like for instance, like JJK, One Piece, etc. It's a business. It's a criminal hmm. business. For instance, you have- a What is the industry like? Do they actually profit? In Japan, some person gets a hold of the magazine copy in Japan okay. of Shonen Jump or other magazines. They scan it, the other person buys it from them, and it- There it is, right? 
the one with the source can then scan it and then other people can buy it now they're actually making money it's a black market basically it's this entire system of bringing this magazine into the like internet domain mm. to give to other people to start spreading out it's a money-making system there's a lot of money made into it it's obviously Ill basically before it gets sent to random twitter accounts right it sounds like the scan so you know it'll be even sadder these dudes posting this shit on Twitter for free, they're actually making negative money. Because assuming that they have to buy the leaks off of a vendor who's already bought the scans off of the original source that had the book. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there's potential that these dudes, not only are they fucking doing this shit for imaginary points on live, they're also fucking paying money for the imaginary points. Illegal as hell, but that's one of the big reasons why a lot of people do this and why it will continue to be a thing because it is a very lucrative business. People will continue to steal Shonen Jump magazines in any way they can because there is a lot of money to be made by it and it's very clear that this heavily affects Shonen Jump as well because in the past few weeks, I made a video like three weeks ago talking about the most traffic that's been driven to Twitter and mm. Mia, one of the big biggest leakers on the platform JJK. that has released basically daily leaks or weekly you know leaks on JJK for a very long time they were in the top five most active Twitter users in terms Woo. of engagement which is wild it is actually wild and you gotta I hope he fucking used that and to like profit somehow like if he just did all this shit for fucking internet points without being able to direct that traffic or create a community and then sell a different product, like, it seems like it's such a waste of fucking time. Imagine the amount of people that are seeing his post, seeing what he's posting about JJK, that's obviously not okay with Shonen Jump and those in Japan. So, yeah, this most wanted list makes a lot of sense, you know, and seeing most just the wanted. ongoing community interaction with leaks itself and leak culture, yeah, it makes sense why Japan wants to stomp it out at the source. But obviously... You know what they should do? When you say stomp it out at the source, I feel like what they're doing right now by going after these Twitter accounts is plugging holes in the fucking dam and new holes will open up. This is not the source. You're, you're simply treating the symptoms right now. The source is who fucking stole the physical copy. That is the problem. At the very top, is the physical copy getting stolen and then being scanned and then being distributed? If you can't handle it at that level, this shit will continue even if you make an example of other people like this. As I've said, even if they were theoretically to get the source, they were to get the leakers, etc. And let's say Mia or whoever associated the people even beyond him is captured... Other people will go yeah. into that space and they will effectively get right in there and they will just fill those gaps. Yep. It's kind of like criminal organizations in real life. You just, when there's a gap opened up, more people fill that space. That's right. Competition has gone. Oh boy. New generation of pirates will then show up to fill that demand. This is actually hilarious, man. Underground crime syndicate black market for manga leaks of fucking children's cartoons, man. Amazing. It doesn't mean you shouldn't try to remove the weeds, remove the problem, it, it, but it's always a case of whack-a-mole that, you know, they're always going to be fighting for the rest of eternity, so to speak. It will always be a thing until the day piracy dies, which piracy is never going to die, so it's always going to be there. Anyways, back into the main point of the post that- Yeah, we do need a manga about it. Imagine, like, an anime or a manga that pretty much is, like, battling, like, internet piracy about fucking manga and anime, it would be so meta. It came out. So with all this information to like the foreigners getting arrested and all that, and it had a lot the of people French speculating, people. could people in different countries that are theoretically leaking manga panels and stuff face justice in Japan? Because obviously, if you're someone that let's say lives in India, lives in the United States, Europe, whatever, and you're not necessarily in Japan, how is Japan supposed to arrest you? That's exactly. what a lot of people start to think. But Japan's gonna send their fucking cops abroad, but it's not in their jurisdiction, right? Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? But this post, and with the United States government complying with, for instance, Japan here, this basically means that those that are in different countries will now start to potentially face criminal justice. Hmm, so the Americans are selling out their own people for money. I don't know how this shit works.
geopolitics stuff, the Japanese government now can basically request the United States to hand over the people that they have been confirmed to leak. I don't know any of the fucking ethics or shit like that, but it sounds kind of crazy that they're actually making moves, even though in a completely separate country. And let's explain. So people are warning, okay, so obviously Japan is going to the U.S. court to issue this and all that, to disclose the personal information of these individuals, mm. these leakers, etc. How is this going to affect someone that, say, theoretically lives in Europe, theoretically lives in South America? Lives well, those governments would also have to agree with the court order, right? Because my assumption is the U.S. has accepted Jap Japan's request to send those information. Doesn't mean other countries' governments will do the same. In India, lives in China, etc. You get the point. Well, obviously, it's going to vary from country to country and how the government reacts, but the point is, is that if Japan does get through with this and they do get the personal information, they will have access to those that browse or the platform. For instance, if you have Twitter Blue, you know, you're going to be putting your personal information on ah. the said site. And basically, that means you would have to put your actual real name, your. Elon Musk selling these leakers! legal address, everything like that, your account information, yeah. to be able to have Twitter blue. And the thing about this is, is that it's a United States company, which is why it's important. That means the United States has all this information of all these personal accounts. So, if theoretically they do give over the personal information, even if you, let's say, live in India or you live in other places... They could get the information. Let's say, okay, let's say Mia lives in India. United States has the information because Twitter blue, sure. It's already in the database. And then what? All right, you give the contact info. And then what's Japan going to do? Send a mail to Mia? It's like, we're going to get you. You, you. you better stop. Arrested. Like, I, I, how, how is that possible? Sure, you got the fucking information. And then what? Is Japan just going to fly over and arrest Mia at his house? Is your personal information still will be given over because you are using an American company. So then, what will happen then is that you won't be, let's say, America won't come after you. What will happen is, is Japan? Japan will now know your information. Okay, and, and then? will effectively, you know, subpoena probably, like, the government of whatever country you live in to try to seek criminal justice against you. Now, what's... Do you think that the Indian government would do that? Like... I don't know how serious of a crime this is. Like, 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 how does that work? Like, in terms of priority of important court works and documentation and processes, like, do you really think that manga leaks is enough for India to be like, yep, we're gonna accept that shit, let's send me over? I, I, I don't know. Once again, this varies from country to country, the country will even comply with Japan, but the point of the matter is, is that Japan is effectively getting the personal information of those that are now trying to leak manga on their said platform. So those that think they're behind some form of mask, either with a fake name or anything, if you have used Twitter Blue and you're actively using Twitter Blue and you've- Should've never subscribed for Twitter Blue, man. Fuck you doing paying this fucking fee, bro. Come on, man. How about 4chan? Isn't there like a huge uh, community on 4chan as well that has to do with uh, leaks and shit? I don't know how that works. Link yourself to the site, then you 100% have your personal information online that now can be accessed by Japan to theoretically arrest you in the future if the country obviously complies. So yeah, this is a pretty big deal. This means that it massive is. leakers, clout chasers, etc. theoretically can face criminal justice in the future. Now, And, you know... Whether or not this is fair, I, it, it's, it's, it, it's not really about what's fair or not. It's more of like, this is the game, right? We can't change the system. But when you're getting into the game, you better be fucking aware with the fire you're playing. All these clout chasers, I'm not sure exactly how serious they thought this is going to get. But, I mean, people like Mia getting that kind of like top five engagements every day trending during JJK's height. I don't know, man. It sucks that this is happening, but at the same time, I totally understand why these companies would go out of their way to really apprehend these leakers, and the leakers themselves should have been aware of the fire they're playing with, so it's, you know, better be aware of the game you're playing before you get into it. I don't know exactly how the, all the laws work, how all governments work and all that, but the point is, is this is a pretty massive deal, because people will be quick to write this off saying this isn't going to affect them if they're a leaker in a different country, but it doesn't matter. If you have Twitter blue, your name is going to be given to Japan. Yeah, but I don't think anything is going to happen after that. I find it hard to believe that these 
companies, sorry, these governments would take this shit that seriously. If United States obviously can plot. Now, if Japan has a huge money incentives and pays these governments to get the information, that's a separate thing. Everything has a price, but I don't know how this is going to work. With this. So, yeah, that, that's where we are today. So, yeah, this information's honestly just straight wild. There's a lot of stuff that's obviously been going on now, but just to actually see this is... It's pretty... It's pretty crazy, man. Like, Japan really has been going hard in the paint, and so is the United States and other countries as well. I don't know what's really happening. I don't know why all these countries have now gotten together to really fight back against piracy, but it's definitely been... I think it's just the coincidence and a lot of leaks happening during this time when also people are going after the spoilers. I don't think, like, just because Netflix leaked, it's all happening now. It's more like probably like the perfect storm and brewing and different events happening coincidentally at the same time. Maybe it's a huge campaign being pushed out during these troubling times when leaks are happening. Who really knows? But at the end of the day, I don't think much is really going to change with leak culture. Because, again, like, okay, we'll just fucking stop buying for Twitter Blue, and we'll just leak it instead. Instead of Twitter, we'll just leak it on 4chan or different sites. It's not going to stop. It's been a very big thing as of late. They've always fought back, but it feels increasingly more pressure put onto them. Now, I want to state this before going any further. It isn't the legal right of these companies to yeah. DMCA and copyright strike, etc. It is completely in their legal right. If it is a legal takedown or copyright infringement, yeah, I can understand. Well, like, again, it's not about what's right or wrong. It's just this is the law, right? This is the rule set of the game we're playing. Why they do it. They, they're in their right to do so. But the thing is, is sometimes piracy is a service problem, but sometimes piracy is not a service problem. And in this case, if you're actively stealing leaks and mom it's not and a service stuff problem. And buying it and trying to be a part of like this criminal system then obviously that is no longer a service problem you're just trying to make a profit off of people that, that's what it really comes down to and i hope these random twitter accounts that were fucking leaking actually did profit off of it because if they didn't imagine going to fucking jail trying to fucking chase imaginary points online oh my god at least get something fucking out of it but hey here's a link for chibi's video please go give it a share give it a like sub to the channel if you haven't and I'll see you next time.